Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. And this is the Evil Pop Tart. Okay, it is trouble center time. So we just need to run off to the trouble center. Yoshi ride for the win. We'll be running back and forth a lot with the troubles that we have to do. These three troubles I personally think are a pain in the ass. The first one is from oh, Jolene. Help wanted. I need some Cleaning done. Motivated workers only. She's actually looking for work, huh? That's not exactly how I would advertise a job. You know, normally you include a job description and, you know, you say, like, pay is negotiable or this is what we're going to pay you. Not, I need help. <laughs> you get paid nothing. Just come help me. So I have a question. Now that Grubba is ultimately defeated, yes. how does Jolene manage this place? Did she like steal all of his money or is, is that um, Well I say that Glitzville is a public corporation and there was a stockholder meeting and everyone decided Jolene would be the best place to manage the place. That's my guess. Okay, um, but I do have to store some things because I'm holding too many things right now so I'm just gonna store random crap. And, uh, how many coins do I have? Oh, fudge! I need more coins! Can I get that from selling stuff? What can I sell? Nothing really worthwhile. Ha! <laughs> oh, crap. Um... I'm gonna have to come back after I have money. Because I need to buy hot dogs for another trouble. Lovely. Could go beat up on people in the glitz pit for some quick cash. Actually, that doesn't necessarily sound like a bad idea. But the thing is, I, his name over again, but. thing is, I'm a ex-fighter of the Glitz Pit. I'm not necessarily, you know, interested in signing up again. I mean, I can, but... That's true. I just came here to help Jolene and give her some work. Gonzalez. Hello, I'm here to help you. Wait, what? Okay. I don't care. I came to work for you. <laughs> this is your this is No, no. Wait, no. Wait, what? <laughs> no. What Mario, did you just say yes and I say no? He did, didn't he? He just did. He so did. Okay. This is all bullshit. Not only did Mario say yes when I said no, their databases suck. <laughs> their stupid database can't even remember who I am. I came to help you. Put it somewhere where I can't see it. Doesn't matter where you put it, just put it somewhere where it disappears. That I can do. Clean out this area, huh? Holy cow, what the? It's dirty gym shorts. <laughs> Who dumps off a lot of dirty gym shorts in a room? I can't even think of a reason for all these to be here, to be honest. Maybe that's how they... Power this place. Dirty gym shorts. By God, it's genius. I mean, it's not even like it's a box of dirty gym shorts. It's a giant collection of dirty gym shorts just thrown all over the area as if like a bunch of frat boys had a party in here. <laughs> and uh, I forgot if any of them hid in here or not. So I'm just double checking. Okay, I don't think any did. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So now what the hell are we gonna do with all these dirty gym shorts? Can you see them? Throw them over the side. Genius! <laughs> no, they're uh wait, fudge wrong area. They're all part of my important things inventory, unfortunately. They stink, <laughs> but they're in my hammer space, where they cannot be seen. So yeah, I took care of the trouble. But Mario stuck with all of it now. You smell terrible. <laughs> Oh, 
It's gonna spend a while getting that smell out of this room, unfortunately, Jolene. So you did have the recommendation, maybe just fight a few battles in Glitzville to get some money? I like yeah. that idea, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead you. and do that. Here's all of our buddies from before. And uh, yeah, there's not too much to it. You can rank up again. Remember when I said getting the tattles again in Glitzville is kind of a pain in the butt? This is the time to do it, because if you miss them now, then uh, what happens is you have to purposely rank down lower in the leagues to get those tattles again. Massive pain in the ass. But thankfully, we just start off with the Goomba Brothers again, and none of the conditions are any different. I guess the way Jolene words the conditions may be different, but they're all the same. You know, like the Goomba Brothers were any difficult at all. It just will take me a while to get 20 coins. Are you ready to rock the joint again? We're all ready to rock! It's gotta be tough doing everything Jolene does. I mean, she's manager, office manager, assistant, everything now. And my name's now the Superstar sequel, Great Gonzalez. <laughs> Get ready to brawl. Goombas have strength in numbers, huh? Well, you could have 500 Goombas. You would all die still. <laughs> See, this is probably going to give me like two or three coins, unfortunately. Is it there? No. That was easy. That was easy. <laughs> I need to get one of those. So do I. We just gave advertisement to the easy button, you know. I they know. should be paying us. They should be paying us. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put my comeback on hiatus till later on, because I honestly didn't plan on, you know, actually doing that for quite a while. I only did it for the money. <laughs> you can bribe me. That's what they all say. I will fight for money, because I needed 20 coins. But yeah, specific uh, future trouble requires two hot dogs. Actually, hot dogs sound good right now. I might go make one when we're done. <laughs> no. Okay. Time to get back on the flying magic carp. I mean, blimp thing. Yeah, let's not go there again, shall we? No. It's a freaking magic carp! Look at it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so if you were paying attention, we got a place where we can dump off all these battle trunks in our inventory that makes us smell PU. <laughs> we don't just size. dump it into the ocean, unfortunately. That's too toxic for the o ocean and we get in trouble with, I guess, World Court Law? What kind of law is here? We can just give them all to here. Or give them all to this guy. What he does with them, we really don't want to know. Is there a black market for battle trunks? Stinky battle trunks? I don't know. If they're worth something, I would know what they're worth. <laughs> black market for battle trunks. Stinky battle trunks. I don't know. Does he use them to for soup? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. You know, for how many times Mario actually shows that blimp ticket, I'm surprised it hasn't, like, torn or ripped or been destroyed in Mario's pockets. Mario laminates his tickets. <laughs> so it's not like a ticket at a movie theater where they tear it in half and say theater on the right? Nope, I'm able to use it as often as I want. It's a uh, um, infinite use ticket. I know there's a special name for one of those, too. It's not coming to my mind, though. Forever ticket. I don't know.
We got paid kind of well. A little bit of a minimum wage kind of payment, but I need coins, so. We'll do anything for coins, PST.